Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Hey, in this video, we'll discuss how we can install Linux application on Windows operating system. So that's been said, let's get started. Let me tell you that if you want to install Linux application on your Windows operating system, you have to enable Windows subsystem for Linux or you can say WSL. Before installing WSL on Windows operating system, you have to make sure that virtualization and Hyper-V feature are enabled. To check them, simply right click on taskbar, then select Task Manager. Here select Performance tab and here you will find your virtualization status. If it is not enabled, then you can easily enable it from your BIOS setting. For that, you can check our video tutorials. So I'll provide the video link in the i button or you will get the video link in the description box. Or else you can also refer to your manufacturer guide. After you have enabled virtualization on your system, make sure that Hyper-V feature is enabled. For that, here on the search option, search for turn windows feature on or off. Then simply open this. Here, scroll down and here you will find Hyper-V option. Simply expand this option and enable Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V platform. Once you have selected this option, simply click on OK and if you get restart window, simply restart your system. Once you have restarted your system, you are ready to install WSL. To install WSL, simply right click on start button, then open the terminal application and here you have to run some command. Simply run WSL space hyphen hyphen install, then hit enter and wait for the installation process to complete. By default, it will install Ubuntu. Once installed, you have to create username for your WSL. Here simply enter your username. If you don't get an option to create username for your WSL, then you will find the option or a command to restart your system. Simply restart your system and you will get the option to create username for WSL. Once you have created username, Simply hit enter, then you have to create a password. Simply enter your password, then hit enter. Then retype your password, then hit enter. Now we have successfully installed WSL and created our username and password. Now you can use WSL to install Linux application on your Windows operating system. Simply close the terminal, then open your WSL, that is Ubuntu. Here on the search option, search for Ubuntu and open this application. Here you will find Ubuntu terminal. Now to install Linux application, simply run sudo apt update, then hit enter. Now enter your password and it will update the apt repository on your system. Once the update process has been completed, simply run another command that is sudo apt upgrade to upgrade the repository. If you get do you want to continue command, here simply press Y then hit enter key and wait for the upgrade process to complete. After that you are ready to install Linux application on Windows operating system. If you want to install Linux version of VLC media player on Ubuntu, you need to simply run sudo apt install vlc space hyphen y then hit enter and wait for the installation process to complete. Once installed, you can simply type the application name then hit enter to open it. Here you can see here we have the Linux version of VLC media player installed on Windows operating system. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. 